Okay, so we got news from the New Orleans Saints. They were fined $500,000 and were wooed to seventh round draft pick after an incident in the locker room where they were celebrating their uh, week nine ball victory against the Buccaneers without mass. Um, this, yeah, uh, again, you know, this comes from the week nine uh, victory against the Bucs. That was a, that was a season sweep. It was a ball out 38 to three. You know, that's, you know, every, obviously they're going to celebrate that, but the problem was they wasn't wearing a mask. Uh, the Saints were not happy with the discipline but appealed to the league decision. And the Saints believe that other teams celebrate victories without their mask. Good thing the other teams are not, the other teams players are not stupid enough to make videos and post on social media. Uh, with uh, Speaking of that, actually, CJ Gardner Johnson, DeMar DeMario Davis, Traquan Smith, and the Saints themselves. Think about that for a minute. Saints themselves. Posted videos of the celebration on social media. No one in there had a mask. I've seen the videos. And since then, the Saints have removed videos of the locker room celebrations from their official Twitter account. But guess what? It's on YouTube. So if you want to see those videos, I will link them in the description down below with the source. If you want to go check out those uh, the videos of those locker room celebrations without their mask, I will put them in the description down below. With that said, Mario, what do you think about this, man? I I'm, I'm, I'm more inclined as to why they can't just accept it like you know you're celebrating without masks which is something that if you're going to celebrate fine they don't got a problem with that as long as you're being cautious about it and they weren't being cautious about it and you can't call out other teams for that because there's no proof that they did it. you have proof you literally put it on your official account what do you think about this yeah i mean i like the uh i like the actions that the nfl took you know they're, they're really proving it now that this is not a matter to mess with if you if you violate it, if you treat it like it's a joke, then the joke's gonna end up turning coming back at them because it is something that you're not supposed to be doing. You know, you're not supposed to be partying without masks or celebrating without masks. It's something you're not supposed to be doing in these in these certain times, especially with these strict protocols that the NFL has. You know, it's irresponsible, it's childish. They lost a draft pick because of it, which is something that could have really, really could have been a big part of their future, depending on who they were gonna pick with that draft pick. You find five hundred thousand dollars was going to take a hit on your cap room, which is what you another thing that another a certain amount of money that you could have did to sign a player. So I mean, there's a lot of so they messed up in a lot of ways, Nate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By doing that, and I understand what they're saying. They're not out in Saints' defense. They're not taking it like when they make those statements. They're not taking it like we don't care about COVID or whatever. Oh no, what really, no. What I mean is like they is that there's a, there's teams in the NFL that do it too, and they don't get the same. Uh, precautions that and, and consequences that we do but the problem is you're literally break posting it out there you really it's right in yeah. front of people's faces when you're doing it and so again even if they were just wore a mask maybe they could have avoided all of this but they didn't even do that they were with no mask and celebrating and party and i understand and i can understand their side too everybody was testing negative before that game after that game you don't know who's negative you know what i'm right. saying you could be negative one game after before the game right after the game you positive it's the way it works you know you never know when you contract the virus you know you, guy the guy could have hit you the guy could have went on the plane something could have happened the guy could the guy who who was probably who got the virus could have hit somebody on the stage and now he got it you know it, it, it's it could be it's that impactful so you got so with these certain types of protocols that are being put on the nfl and the type of consequences that you know you're going to get if you if you make a mockery out of them the Saints should have been more smart about this. It's not about, well, this person did it and this person did it. That's irresponsible. There's no excuse. I don't care if this, I don't care if, I don't care who did it. You're not a lot, you're not supposed to do it. And you know that because you did it, you got consequences for it. So there's no excuses. Stop, stop making excuses for, for breaking protocol. It's unnecessary. And the reason why I said they're a little dumb with what they claim is because, yeah, they, they, other teams probably do celebrate without victories without mask. Who knows? But that's the problem. Who knows? That's the thing. Their players in their organization, the people who run the, uh, the social media accounts, aren't stupid enough to post videos of celebrating in the locker rooms during Rona season without their damn mask and post it on their official social media accounts. They are. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, players do it all the time. But like when you when you know. The situation at hand in the world right now, and you know that there's protocols to follow, and you're gonna post the videos of you not following the protocols when they're very, very strict. I get it's Florida; they don't have any 
they don't have any COVID regulations because they got rid of all of them. Because like I've said before, the, the governor at state's stupid, but we're not talking about that. This is the NFL. This is this is their rules. Just because just they're in the state where they have no regulation doesn't mean there isn't any rules to follow. They knew that and they took the risk and they got fined for it. And you know what? Good. Uh, good. You deserve it. And and that's the thing is like maybe, maybe more things will come up with other teams doing it too. Who knows? But that's the problem. It hasn't happened yet. It's happened to you. It's happened to you doing it. So, I mean, you can say, uh, like I said, you can say other teams celebrate victories without their mass sure, but there's no proof of that. You don't have any proof to say otherwise until something really does come up. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like something like that will happen, but that's just me rhetorically speaking. And if they do have proof, it doesn't matter. That's the exactly. whole point. Because they, because they nope. did it too. You know, you you know it's not right, but you still do it. It doesn't matter if if one if one player does steroids, right? You can blame the other person, another person doing steroids. That's completely fine, but it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that what you did is no, not did. wrong, and it's not an excuse. You knew it was wrong, but you still did it anyway. And because of that, that's where your con- uh, consequences come in. Absolutely, and and obviously, you know, I hope these guys learn their lesson. I mean. I mean, I'm not saying don't celebrate, but like, especially with this, with, again, with what's going on around you, gotta, you, you can celebrate, fine. They have no problem with that. As long, so as long as you follow the protocol. And I feel like the Saints, instead of complaining about how other teams do it, I really think they need to sit down and tell their players and coaches, hey, you know, follow the rules. You can celebrate. I don't care. I really don't. So as long as you do this, da, 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 do all that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I really do hope the Saints do take this into consideration. And, you know, talk to everybody and be like, you know, follow the rules because we're going to get penalized if this continues to happen. 